What's up everybody, Way of the Bay here and today I'm going to be going over the B156 Random Booster. So today we are looking at another Beyblade from the Random Booster Volume 18 and that Beyblade is Dread Fafner. So looking at the box, as you can see it's all based on Naked Spriggan. The logos over here are Defense, Left Spin, Burst, GT, that is all for Naked Spriggan. Over here we also see Naked Spriggan using its defensive disc to block off an attack from another Beyblade. On the back, we see all the stats, the side view of all the Beyblades in here, the new pieces, the Naked Base, the Paradox Disc, and a new energy layer, which is a Dragoon Victory, a remake of a Plastic Gen Beyblade. The Paradox Disc has the ability to flip its sides and have two different modes, and today, Dread Fafner has the Paradox Disc. So if you weren't able to get it from the Naked Spriggan Beyblade, you are able to get it from Dread Fafner. So now I'm going to open up this box and show you what is inside. Alright, so this is everything out of the box. The packages are open for easy access. So right here you can see the Dread Fafner stickers. Now let's get to it. So first we have Revolve and it's a nice green, dark green colored Revolve. The tip does move. So there is Revolve. It's a nice stamina tip. Then we have the outside of Paradox. Paradox, this one is a blackish grayish color. So since Paradox is with Dread Fafner, it has to be facing downward because Paradox only works upward with naked, the naked base. So then we have the core of Paradox and Paradox only works with this core. So let's put it on. Oh. It is a lot harder. Oh, it was supposed to go downward. There we go. So Paradox altogether, it is a nice gray color with a green revolve. So let's get to the base. So we have Dread Fafner with Metsu. So let's take it apart and I'll show you its teeth. So here are Fafner's teeth. Not that bad. Fafner's teeth, pretty decent. But that does not matter because it is with the Dread base. The Dread base is dreadful to use because it does not line up with the teeth and when you put it together it doesn't click at all it just slides like a hasbro beyblade it's kind of worse than a hasbro beyblade it doesn't even slide that well so it's not the best combo maybe if you put a new genway in there it would have been a really awesome beyblade that everyone would be trying to get but it's okay you get the paradox disc which everyone's looking for as of right now and it's not that bad of a disc too, so that kind of makes up for everything. But now I'm going to put the stickers on Dread Fafner and then I'll show you it in better detail. Alright, so we have the stickers on the Beyblade. So putting the stickers on the Dread base was dreadful. All the stickers look the same, sort of the same shape, and it's pretty hard to know where exactly they go. If looking at the instructions in the box doesn't help, then there will be lots of trial and error. That's what happened with me, but it's all good. It's all on and it looks pretty good. It's just added some green to green. So it looks really nice. The Paradox disc has absolutely nothing, but it's still pretty good with all that gray. The Revolve driver does have the um, driver sticker. So it looks pretty good. Putting it all together, like I said, it just slides. It's not even like a Hasbro slide. You do feel it clicks, but this is the type of Beyblade that bursts super easily. But enough talk about how horrible its teeth is. Let's do some test battles. Alright, so instead of doing test launches and test battles like we would normally do, here are a whole bunch of clips of the exploding Beyblade Dread Fafner. Three, two, one, other. And that is it for Dread, Fafner, with all those explosions and stuff. As you can see, it's not really the best Beyblade out there. There are ways to fix it, adding a Gen weight or taking the frame of Paradox out. But at least we can say we have a Beyblade that can do self-destruct now. Dread, Fafner, you self-destruct. It was super effective. But all jokes aside, this is an okay Beyblade. The combo itself wasn't too good, but pieces separately, okay. You get the Paradox Disc, which is the only way to get it other than 
Naked Spriggan was this. So there's only two recolors out there. And gray was actually, for me, looks almost as nice as the turquoise one. The turquoise one was really nice. This one's pretty good too. Revolve. Revolve's not that bad of a driver. There has been a lot of recolors out there. But this whole green Beyblade looks pretty good. Dread. It's a nice green color of Dread. So overall, this whole Beyblade, the combo itself was horrible, but separately, it was pretty good. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching Way of the Bay.